Yo, yo, what's going on? Hey, arms, how do we make our arms grow? Not so big George has helped me out today. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ronnie Coleman, lightweight. Lightweight. All right, so here we go. There's not too many things that have a dramatic ability to change the muscle mass of your arm. Everybody wants a big arm. It's alpha male walking down the hall in seventh grade, right? It's just alpha. I mean, big arms is what shows it's, but most people think bicep curls for big arms. Right. But obviously, you know, not, I'm sorry, obviously people don't know, tri is three, biceps is two. Your tricep is a bigger part of your arm. So if you're trying to get big arms and not doing tricep movements, it's a big mistake. Don't do it. All right, George and I were just talking because we just got away from what works. It's easy to do. Yep. But there's two types of tricep exercises that we believe have a, a easy ability if you do them right to make the size of your arm grow and make them really sore and bigger the next week and that is what i'm what i'm going to demonstrate right here close grip bench press it gets deep it you can feel it and your arms will grow very quickly when you use a technique that's safe but highly effective and you know if you follow me very long you know i'm an advocate of slower more uh, mindful contraction time under tension and I'm gonna demonstrate the close grip bench press here that will make your arms grow very quickly. I was talking with George, I said, George, what's another, what's the other go-to movement that you believe could make the arm grow faster? Because I'll tell you right now, this warms your arm up, you know, with a rope, but not enough stress. It's not, not enough stress. It's not gonna make your arms grow. It's not gonna tear your fibers down and thus get your arms grow. Remember, bigger. we gotta force the body to adapt. Genetic adaptation to get it big. It's got to be under stress, heavy stress. They, the muscle fibers got to be really sore the next day. You got to know you effing work them. And so what he said, I agreed with. The only other thing for sure is getting that pre-stretch in the tricep and getting a dumbbell, like a skull crusher with, when you keep it back here, not to your skull here, but back here. So it's a pre-stretch on the tricep. So some kind of skull crusher or a dumbbell overhead where your arms are above your head, maybe a rope cable machine where you're here and you're boom. But again, the rope in my opinion is feeling and squeezing. It's not gonna attack and tear it apart the fibers enough in a controlled way to grow. Yeah. I think you gotta do a skull, curl bar skull crusher or a dumbbell. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. it. All right, it, D. some people will go reverse grip. If you go, it's, it can work. If you go reverse grip, I think the grip's gotta be a little wider to stimulate the triceps. But I'm gonna demonstrate this one. I'm gonna go palms forward like a traditional bench press and you need to go a little bit narrower. If your wrists are an issue, you better tighten those suckers up with some straps or something. But if you go slow with this contraction, three second negative, one second hold, three second positive, and maybe like a three second isometric squeeze at the top, probably don't have to worry about your wrist. Let's right. get it, let's get it. So it's a little heavy for me. Ooh. Let's get it. This is a working set for me. So let, just so you know, it's a little ballsy for uh, anybody putting videos out there to demonstrate exercises to put a working set out there because, you know, hey, you go to failure. Some things can go wrong when you go to failure. But this is a working set for me today. And it's real weight. Yeah. This is real weight. Oh, these aren't fake weights. What's that The dickhead that does the fake weights? Uh, uh, Clarksberry or fucking Fairyberry, some dickhead. You heard of that guy? Oh, yeah. George? Oh, have, yeah. Have you heard of the fake weight guy? The fake weight guy. These are not fake weights. One, let's do it. Get that bench press position, feet firm on the floor, lower back arched out. Get the rib cage tilted up. One. Old age eyes. Two. Can't see the lines on the bar. And three. Up. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Get it. Big arms. Let's go. Nice and slow. Ah. Squeeze. Squeeze that last three inches. That last That's inch. Everything. That last inch up there is where the magic happens. Right there, pushing through the the butt of the palm. Explode the bar. Uh, yeah, nice and slow. Squeeze. Right there, yep. right there, right there. Squeeze. Yep. Yeah, get up. That will flare out a little bit. Get it up. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, uh, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, Jordan. Yeah. I need spine on the elbows. Yeah, let's go now. Let's go now. Not too much. Uh, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, yeah. Uh, big arms, big arms. Come on now, force it, force it. Squeeze, squeeze, uh, power it up. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze up uh, there. Last one, last one. All the work, all the work. Squeeze it, squeeze uh, it, squeeze it. 
Come on, my slow. Squeeze. Ah. Squeeze. Squeeze. Stay there. Hold it. Ah. Hold it. Okay. Ooh. That's how you build big arms, baby. And uh, when you're done, three seconds, squeeze, three, two, one, squeeze. Three, two, one, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Isometric squeezing at the end of a set can finish it off. Woo, woo. It felt really, really good. Good, good set, my dear. Good spot, George. Nice work. Um, if you got any questions or concerns or disagreements, hey, let's chat out below. You can make your arms an inch bigger in six weeks, I guarantee you, but you gotta work smart. You do have the power to change to make your arms bigger and live the, make the rest of your life the best of your life. Ooh, ooh. Lightweight, baby! Lightweight. Woo! What you looking at, mofo? Huh? <laughs>